Hi and welcome to Go 10 Lisa. I am Lisa. It's Easter weekend and I am going to share with you, I could share 10, but I'm actually going to share two of my favorite Easter tradition. traditions. One of them as a Jamaican, if you are Jamaican or know of a Jamaican, you know what the first one is. But the second one that I'm going to share with you is something that I, as a Jamaican, just learned like what, last year, but everyone knew about it. But I think it's a fun one to share with your kids. So why don't you join me on this fun Easter episode as I share with you two of my favorite traditions on Easter. And let's see what you think. Come on into my home. Okay, when I just came from the store, and I will tell you what the number one tradition is. As a Jamaican, because not all Jamaicans, you know, um, celebrate Easter, you know, the Rastas. There's a whole story on Rastafarians and why they don't celebrate Easter, and somebody in the store, a Jamaican guy, was just telling me about it. Uh, so check that out and maybe I'll talk about it on my podcast. Be sure to check that out on Go to Lisa podcast available on any podcast app. I'll probably do that um, one day. But my number one tradition of all traditions everyone know is bun and cheese. That's right. Bun. You see how much bun I have? I have two buns. It's so good. It's not good for me as far as, you know, the sugar in it and the fat. You know I'm trying to lose weight but that's a whole nother story but bun and cheese this one I got at the Jamaican store near me is $8.99 $8.99 and this one this the guy in the store um, somebody who was shopping recommended this one to me have you guys bought this one before this one is like $12.99 Normally I buy the HCB one, is it HCB one? But he was telling me, don't you find that one a little bit dry? Uh, it depends, it depends, it depends. But he said, this one is so moist, like when you eat it. As for that picky eater that I have upstairs, Justin, who's back in town, he even liked bun and cheese. <laughs> so, let me tell you a little, about, a little bit about the um, Jamaican tradition in case you're not aware. And what I would like for you guys to do right now, if you haven't done already, is to subscribe, hit that red button below, and hit, sus hit, hit subscribe, so therefore you don't miss out on any of my videos. So there is a cheese, a Jamaican cheese, that goes along with any bun that you like, because there's so many variations of bun. And the other day I saw a bun for like 20 something dollars. I said, when the hell did the bun become so expensive? Is bun becoming a commodity? Is bun coming out of style? Or is the demand for bun so high that it's raised up? So I'm glad that, you know, normally I buy two for the house. Some people have more. It usually goes like this. It is a tradition in Jamaica where we typically eat the bun on Good Friday, the Saturday after Good Friday, leading up to Easter because I grew up Anglican re religion, um, but then later got, you know, baptized in Lutheran um, tradition, doesn't matter. I still believe in God. I still believe that Jesus Christ, Jesus is a reason for the season. It's not so much about all of these traditions. It's the reason that um, God died on the cross for our sins. We have to remember that, folks. So um, typically on Good Friday, that's the day Christ was crucified. In Jamaica we recognize that because we're so high in religion and um, so in the Anglican religion between the hours of 12 and 3 we typically don't use a stove according to my mother growing up we don't use a stove because that signifies burning and that signifies that time period which they've estimated not just Jamaica's but you know religions across the world they estimated that's the time frame that from you know the from when Christ hung on the on the cross and died so nobody should be burning anything cooking anything so that's why a lot of Jamaicans um, eat bun and cheese all the way up because they can't use a stove and typically they fry up a whole bunch of fish which is red snapper fish you know the yellowtail fish 
Can you believe I just came from the store, the Jamaican store? I know I'm late. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. And they ran out of fish. Who runs out of fish? I told the guy, I said, why don't you guys, <laughs> I said, why don't you guys forecast? If you know a lot of Jamaicans or Caribbean people are gonna come up in here, why didn't you forecast that you're gonna need a whole bunch of fish? Hello? I have to go to Publix. You know, they don't have the fish. I have to go buy tilapia, tilapia fish, just to have fish in the house. But then again, you know, you're supposed to cook this when? So anyway, so that's a tradition, just a little bit of it. I can go in debt about it on my podcast or another video. But today, I just want to make this a quick video to show you my two favorites. So there you have the bun and we have the cheese. And there is a Jamaican cheese that people typically eat with the bun. That cheese is usually so expensive. It comes in this big of a lasting can that you have to cut open. I remember <laughs> I was trying to cut it when I was growing up. And it's so expensive to the point that they only sell like a triangle of the cheese in the store for like, what, $4, four dollars four fifty and up for a little piece of triangle. And it to me is a little bit saltier. And the guy in the store was telling me that um, he doesn't use the cheese either. So you know what I use, what kind of cheese I use? Cracker Barrel, sharp. Sharp cheese is what I use, or any sharp cheese. I kind of like this with the bun, right? This is a little bit expensive too. It's like four something. So the difference between this four dollars and something cents versus a triangle, but can't blame the hustle. So anyway, that is my favorite um, tradition. All Jamaicans who, whether you celebrate it or not, you know about it. Bun and cheese, bun and cheese. So I'm gonna cut my bun and cheese. And if you want to see a video of me on my with my bun and cheese, check out last year's video. Scroll down to my playlist that I have Jamaica and look it up there, and you'll see the video that what I did last year with me eating the bun and cheese. My second tradition, which I didn't know about, but I think is a fun one for you guys to do with your kids, and I'm going to show the video after this because I actually did it on Good Friday. And lots of people don't know about it and lots of people don't do it anymore. And I was thinking before I did this video, why don't they do it anymore? I know why. Because in Jamaica, they have large families back in the day. So I guess they were saying, why are you gonna waste that egg? Why are you gonna waste that egg when we could <laughs> eat the egg? <laughs> just to do this, so. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now, folks, um, you're going to waste an egg, actually the egg yolk, and this all requires a glass with water and egg white. So this has been sitting overnight now. I don't know if you guys can see. And let me tell you something. I'm going to show you the video right now and what I'm talking about, but let me just give you a quick recap. It's a, Jamaica has so much. I don't want to say superstitious, but they have so much rituals or so much things. There's a word for it. There's a correct word for it that people do, right? And some majority of the times we're right, right? But with this one, you crack the egg white into the water and then you watch it to see what it forms into. And they say that, you know, no one can predict anything, only God, but they say that, um, whatever you see is what your future is a little bit like, or, you know, some people see money <laughs> in it. So they're going to be rich. Last year was my first time doing it. I didn't film it. Um, so then I was visiting my, my parents home and I was like, did you know about this tradition? And they said, yes, but I didn't hear about it growing up. So I asked my stepfather, he's like, yeah. So then I did it in their house and Last year, I saw a baby cradle, like a baby in a cradle. And I kept saying in the glass, do you see what I see? But I already have one baby. I have two fur babies. And I was like, I know I'm not pregnant. And I know I'm not going to have any more babies right now. But who knows? Who knows? I guess the doctor said the likelihood at my age. And, you know, once you pass over 35, the risk is higher. So... Who knows, because people in their 50s and 60s, I'm not even there yet, people, but people in their 50s and 60s have babies, so you, you just don't know. 
So now I was telling one of the guys in the store that was buying something, and he said, I, I said, have you heard about that, that tradition? And he said, yes, he hasn't done it since he was six. So he, the first question he asked was, what did I see? So I'm gonna tell you right now before I show you the clip what I did. I see a castle, tell me what you see. But then I also wanna leave you with this. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I say that to say, is whatever the beholder or the one cracking the egg is going to see. You understand me? But I'm just so curious as to what you guys see. I see a castle. I see a castle. So I asked my son, Justin, yesterday, I said, Justin, what do you see? <laughs> he said he sees spider web. <laughs> Listen, I said, like I said, Everyone sees things differently. I wanted him to do it, but you know, you know, you're young adults, you're too busy. So anyway, I just want to come on real quick in this Easter weekend and maybe it's something fun you can do with your kids or even with your family and just look at it and see what it is that you see. I just have it sitting here. I don't know if you can tell. Doesn't it look like a castle? Like I said, first I thought it was something on a water or whatever, but I'm going to show you the video right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what are the traditions that you do in your household for Passover, Easter, or whatever it is. What are the two of your favorite or three or 10? So I want you guys to go, 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 go 10 Lisa. Go and try out these things in case you don't know, now you know, and let me know. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace, love. Now watch the video.